baby bus. The Heart of the Dinosaurs, Episode 4, The Second Warrior. <laughs> Velociraptor had been locked up in the corner after being captured by Rexy the T-Rex. He was now dozing off, talking in his sleep. Rexy, I'm gonna punch and kick you. You know what you've done wrong now? All right, you can feed me some delicious food. Velociraptor opened his mouth slowly in his sleep. Suddenly, he heard swoosh. <coughs> What's this? Who's attacking me? Velociraptor spat out the thing that had slipped into his mouth. He looked down and saw a dirty stick that looked like a plunger. He was furious. He raised the stick and protested loudly. Hey, this is too much. Attacking me while I'm asleep? You're mistreating your captives. Hey, uh, why, why are you all staring at me? All the dinosaurs looked at Velociraptor in disbelief. Velociraptor was so startled, he covered his chest with his hands and backed away a couple of steps. Don't, don't act rashly. I, uh, I know martial arts. Uh, I'll give whoever comes over a taste of my dino punch. Yeah. Rexy looked at Velociraptor and turned his head away helplessly. He looked at Turtle Prophet. Turtle Prophet, is it really him? Could there be a mistake? Impossible. Turtle Prophet shook his head firmly. The magic wand does not make mistakes. He is the other chosen warrior. The Heart of the Dinosaurs. What? Chaotic discussions exploded in the conference hall. How could it be him? Yes, how can this egg stealer be the chosen warrior? I don't it. Velociraptor's ears pricked up when he heard what they were saying. He had been hiding in the corner, trembling. Now, he suddenly looked here and there. Huh? These fools are saying I'm a chosen warrior? Chosen warrior? <laughs> that sounds really powerful. I should throw my weight around a little then. <laughs> Keeping this in mind, Velociraptor's expression changed. He became arrogant as he casually lay on the floor, crossing his legs. He started picking his nose. He said, Oh dear, you're saying that I'm a chosen warrior? Once Velociraptor opened his mouth, the dinosaurs fell silent. Turtle Prophet nodded. That's right, Velociraptor. Are you willing to find the heart of the dinosaurs with Rexy and save the world? Oh, dear! <laughs> Should I be willing or not willing? <laughs> Looking at the despicable Velociraptor, Rexy was furious. Turtle Prophet, let me go teach him a lesson. I guarantee he'll be willing. As he said that, Rexy rushed forward. But Turtle Prophet restrained the angry T-Rex. Rexy, you're too rash. Such matters require a subtle approach. Watch me. Turtle Prophet opened the gate of the jail with a smile on his face, and he walked inside. What are you doing here, old turtle? I'm telling you, you're wasting your words. I don't do things which don't benefit me. Turtle Prophet wasn't the least bit angry. He leaned toward Velociraptor's ear and whispered something. Velociraptor, is your dream to become a painter like Devinsor? Huh? Turtle Prophet, how did you know? I didn't tell anyone. Did Rexy tell you? He's such a big mouth. Turtle Prophet shook his head. Actually, I've known all along about you stealing eggs to practice painting. Even though you are going to secretly return the eggs later, you have still committed theft. Now is a good time for you to atone for your crimes. Don't you think so? This, this, you've got a point. But I still don't want to go. Finding the heart of the dinosaurs is too dangerous. What if I die before I can fulfill my dream? 
Well, I won't force you to go if you're not willing. But without the heart of the dinosaurs, we can't seal Evilsaur away again. When he regains his strength, he'll destroy all the dinosaurs. At that time, not only will there not be any dinosaurs, but the dinosaur eggs will also be gone. Wait! Turtle Prophet, what did you say? Velociraptor jumped up suddenly. I said, when Evil Saw regains his strength... Not that! The last part! I said, even dinosaur eggs will be extinct. What are we waiting for, then? Hurry up and let me go! If there are no dinosaur eggs, how can I become a painter like Defensor? Velociraptor bounced up from the floor and made a racket about going to find the heart of the dinosaurs. Turtle Prophet walked to Rexy's side with a grin on his face. He flashed a victory sign with his fingers to the dumbfounded Rexy. That was too amazing! You're really clever, Turtle Prophet! Of course! Turtle Prophet touched his beard, saying, <laughs> No matter what, the experience still counts! The older, the wiser. Rexy and Velociraptor then set out on their journey to find the heart of the dinosaurs. What will they encounter? Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>